Now I'm on the tab Time Intelligence Previous Month. What I'm doing in this table is I'm comparing my total sales with the total sales of the previous month. And you can see that in 2006 in July I had 30,000 in sales. In August, 26,000. What I have in the previous month, 30. In September, 27. In the previous month, 26. Why do we do this? Well, we're doing this to compare to see are we growing, are we shrinking? We can create another measure that shows us the difference between these two measures and then we can chart that on a graph and then um, it basically shows us our growth rates or you know lack of growth and uh, it's something that finance people and sales people and inventory management people really like to see over time so we end up doing something like this a lot so what does the DAX look like well the total sales is the same total sales we've been using the whole time right just some order line total what does total sales previous month look like well again we're using the calculate function from the previous video we know what the calculate function does it overrides the filter context and what we're saying is do the sum same as ever, but regardless of what the filter context says, pretend that in the date it's the previous month, not the month that the filter context is currently saying. And we use that by using the previous month um, function inside DAX. And it really is that simple. That's all I did to create this. And then in the visualization, what you'll see is that I'm using total sales and total sales previous month. I'm using that DAX calculation that you just saw. And that's it. That's how you do previous month comparisons inside DAX. It's really that easy. Download the PVIX file and the PowerPoint slides, and you can recreate this on your own. Thanks. Have a great day. And finally, this is how you can get a hold of me if you need to. There's my Twitter and my email address, and of course, my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe and get more videos on DAX and Power Apps and data engineering and cloud data and other things that interest me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Have a great day.